Hey guys, Anthony here. In uh, today's video, what I want to do is show you this stove here. This is the Snow Peak Gigapower stove. I purchased this stove over 10 years ago. There has since been, I believe, a new version of it, but this version or the original version works fantastic. And uh, it's a highly recommended stove. I have a review on this from 10 years ago that I could put in the description box and you could see a full review. But today what I wanted to do was uh, I was going through uh, my wife's pack, which is here, which is a Swiss Army bag, Swiss Army backpack. <clears throat> and every so often I do go through it and change out some items that are in it. This time I went through and I pulled out some food that I had in it. And this is uh, Louisiana Red Beans and Rice by Backpackers Pantry. Uh, this is a two-person meal, so it's not the mini one. It's a, for two people. So it takes two and a half cups of boiling water and about uh, 13 minutes to reconstitute this, uh, of which I opened up to show you. So there it is in there. And so what I thought I'd do is I thought I would um, set up the stove show you guys how this stove can bring two and a half cups of water to a boil uh, in the field there's two and a half cups of water in this zebra kettle this is a stainless steel zebra kettle these are bomb proof very heavy duty i highly recommend them for your kits a little bit heavy but bomb proof and highly recommended uh, so that's a, a zebra kettle i think that's the small version there's several sizes of this kettle that it comes in. This is a isobutane mix of fuel, the 100 gram size, which is the smallest one. This could easily fit in a backpack. And this kit was in my wife's bag and I switched it out with something else and I pulled this stove out and I'm going to use this stove more on my tabletop videos to show you comparisons of some of these folding stoves. Uh, for three, 3.2 ounces, uh, this stove functions fantastic it's got a 10,000 BTU uh, burner uh, so it'll it'll bring you know two and a half cups of water to a boil in relatively short time probably about four minutes or so um, very simple to operate you just open it up very heavy duty uh, pot stand very nice um, flame pattern as you see when I open it it's got the piezo igniter, which is right here, which will automatically, when you depress this, send a spark here and light your stove. And um, that's you're going to see that in a minute. One of the other things that I purchased with this stove when I bought it, or actually I didn't purchase it, uh, Staten, Island, Staten Island Prepper sent this to me years ago. Um, when we were communicating more and it's a snow screen a snow screen a windscreen that they make for this stove and it's designed specifically for the gigapower stove and as you can see here it's not really um, protected from any wind so you would if you were outside or if I was outside I would need some type of windscreen or barrier around here to help with you know keep the flame steady but with this addition to the stove and it's very easy to put on. You just simply put it over the slots. The slots go over each part of the stove, each of the leg, leg stands. And then you just have to match where the igniter is right here so it pops through. So once you lay that on, you just fold out the handle so it's flat. And now you've got yourself a little bit of a windscreen around here. Um, and it's really cool how they uh, made that up, how they d developed that. It's a very nice attachment, and again, I would recommend it. So what we're going to do is we're going to light this stove. Again, you've got the automatic ignition, which should work. So there you see I, I lit the stove, and with this stove, you can bring it down to a simmer. If you were cooking something, it goes down pretty low. Or you can bring it up full blast if you wanted to boil water very quickly. So I'm going to get our water on the boil here uh, in our zebra kettle. So as you can see here, I've got the lid on the zebra kettle. 
Um, I won't put this all the way up because I don't want the sound that it makes to drown out what I'm talking about. So I want to talk about a few other things while this is boiling. Um, actually, let me step away and get a... Just want to get a, a little knife to lift up the lid to check on the water. Because uh, we're going to reconstitute this and I'm going to taste this today. But this is how you would make uh, in the field, if this was a in your bug out bag, a kit like this, um, and you had to stop on the trail or on the way home, and you wanted to eat something and rehydrate, maybe have a, a hot beverage along with this meal, uh, as long as you've got a steady level surface to set this stove up on and this setup, you're pretty much good to go. And you see, uh, you would just need to check your water every now and then to see if it was boiling and uh, that's no problem. Um, a couple of other things I want to mention. Uh, this is a very inexpensive Sony uh, AM FM radio. It takes two AA batteries. This would be an excellent go bag, bug out bag, get home bag. Just don't store it with the batteries in the radio. Store the batteries separate and then when you need um, it's got a fold up antenna. I believe this is around 20 bucks and you just turn it on and you've got the ability to tune in different AM FM stations. Um, another excellent way uh, to prepare just a basic radio. You can even put a little earbud in here and keep it quiet if you want to listen to the news or something on the trail or on the road. Uh, another good nice little radio is this Midland NOAA weather radio that's already programmed. You just simply put three AAA batteries in it. You've got the volume here on the left and you're on off and you can even set a, a, an alert with this. And then just find your your NOAA station for your area and it'll it'll pop up wherever you are in the country it will tune into your NOAA station. And you shut it. Very easy to pack. It's got a little clip here. You can clip it on your pack. Keep it in your pocket. Uh, or just keep it handy each day with you. You have a little radio, NOAA radio in your car. Make an excellent companion. And then this Cobra 38 WXST CB radio. I'm going to be doing an updated video on this with an antenna for your vehicle. I've also got the attachment to plug it in. And uh, this makes an excellent radio on the road to hear CB, which would be truckers and people near you reporting stuff going on the highways. So another good prep to have. Uh, I believe this might be done. It's almost ready to boil. We'll give it a few more minutes. Um, so that's what uh, today's video was going to highlight. And so what I was doing today is I was going through my wife's bag, updating some food items, taking out some expired uh, food bars or protein bars, tossing them out and getting some new ones in there uh, and updating the bag for the winter. Uh, and changing out some of her gear and making sure she has what she needs or we have in the car with us a bag that we both could use in the event of an emergency that's not too overbearing and heavy for her but has the essentials so that's another video and I have videos on this bag but that's what I was doing for her and this will go back in her vehicle at the end of the weekend once I get it to where I want it and um, and put it back in there. So let's see if this is ready. Yep, just about boiling now. So what I'm gonna do is I'll shut the flame. I'll grab the pot handle with a bandana. It's always good to have a couple of bandanas in your kits uh, for, for that kind of thing. Uh, something to lift the pot lid up or even your, you know, your knife 
to lift the pot lid up and get it off and then be able to pour this kettle into this and reconstitute your meal. So the, these types of meals are fantastic for your kits. A, they last for years. B, they just require boiling water. Um, if you can do that or feel that you could boil water on the fly, you've got a meal that will really fill your belly and taste good as well. You could also use MREs if you wa didn't want to or if you were in a rush, you didn't want to light a stove and MREs already ready to eat, you could do that as well. So, you know, have options is what I'm uh, saying here. So we're going to shut this. And we're going to pour our water in here, let this reconstitute up and have our meal. But I wanted to highlight the uh, Gigapower stove, which you could pick up now, the version 2. There's also a few other brands out there. Snowpeak makes really, really good stoves. You've got the Pocket Rocket version of this that competes with it. Might be a little less money. But I like these um, stoves that come in these hard cases. In this case, you could fold this stove up, put the lid on, put it in your pack. You don't have to worry about it. Anything poking it or bending it or it poking anything in your pack or getting tangled up. You could simply put it in. It'll even fit in this, in this uh, zebra kettle with some other items. And you can make a whole little kit with it and throw it in your pack, uh, whether it was for you or your spouse. And you've got a very reliable stove. A 100 gram canister is going to give you about an hour and a half worth of burn time. Or that's multiple times you could boil water for beverages or meals uh, on, the, on the trail or on the way home or bugging out. So one of these canisters with this stove with a good stainless steel kit or ability to boil water or some kind of cup that can boil water on, you're good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. But these are some of the things you should be doing uh, at least twice a year in your kit that you carry with you uh, to update the food items, change out batteries or update batteries. Um, again, don't keep batteries in your devices. if You're going to stow them away for a long time because they will leak, especially in like flashlights and stuff like that. You want to be wary of that. Carry your batteries in a little battery holder separate, and then when you need the item, just put the batteries in it. So that's the video today. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care. Stay ready. Let me know if you have any questions. Anthony signing off.